We're back with the DNC's Mo Alethi and RNC's Sean Spicer. Now it's time for our outrages of the day. So I'm the mom of a kindergartner in a New York City public school. Today, NBC weatherman Al Roker decided to criticize New York Mayor Bill de Blasio for his decision to keep the public schools open in the snow. Roker took to Twitter and said, why are schools all around New York City closed? It's going to take some kid or kids getting hurt before this goofball policy gets changed. Now, I've been in D.C. for a few days. I'm not going to second guess the mayor. I am going to second guess Al Roker, who should know that for New Yorkers who aren't millionaire TV stars, if schools close, that means millions of parents scrambling to find, even if they can afford, a babysitter, or otherwise missing work and in lots of cases not even getting paid. Plus, over 700,000 kids in New York rely on schools for free hot meals. I'm outraged that Hal Roker unleashed a blizzard of privilege and stuck his shovel where it doesn't belong. You don't mess with Al Roker, man. That dude gets angry. I just angry. did. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, the snow didn't stop Hillary Clinton today. She and her daughter, Chelsea, were out at an event for women and girls in New York. Now, the sexist anti-Hillary campaign hasn't even happened yet, but that isn't stopping Democrats from accusing Republicans of bashing the presumptive 2016 Democratic candidate just because she has lady parts. The evidence, you ask? Well, the Daily Beast Sam Kleiner didn't like it when RNC chair Reince Priebus promised to be very aggressive against Hillary on Benghazi, Obamacare, and the like. Apparently, very aggressive is dog whistle for woman-hating Neanderthal. Liberals in the media also didn't like it when Hillary was recently referred to as ruthless. Never mind that the comments derived from voters in a 1992 Clinton poll, not Republicans, but repeating it was apparently sexist. <laughs> Newsday columnist Ellis Hennigan declared, if gender were flipped, it would be very different. Fascinating. So Democrats can call Chris Christie fat, George Bush Hitler, Sarah Palin caribou Barbie, Michelle Bachman crazy, Tim Scott a dummy, and Nikki Haley the Sikh Jesus. But calling Hillary ruthless, now that's a step too far. It's going to be a long two years. I got to say, for the record, I think all those things that Republicans call, or the Democrats called all those people, are offensive. Thank you, too. Sally. You. For the record. Wow. For the record. Finally, we Thank come together. You. <laughs> hey, it's nice to come together. Uh, uh, any, decency. Any, anyway, and by the way, Team We Yes, this is our fireback I mean, question. I, Team I, Roker, Team I, I'm with I, I, I'm with Al on this. Look, at the end of the day, you got to put kids first. If one kid gets hurt, that's just not worth it. And I get it. That it's a challenge. That we're all as parents. All right, we got to go, guys. Thanks to Moa Lathy and Sean Spicer. Go to Facebook or Twitter to weigh in on our fireback question. Who do you side with in the New York City weather wars? Right now, 77% of you Ooh. replied Roker. That's right. 23% <laughs> replied de Blasio. The debate continues online at CNN.com slash Crossfire, as well as on Facebook and Twitter. From the left, I'm Sally Cohn. From the right, I'm Essie Cup. Join us tomorrow for another edition of Crossfire. Aaron Burnett out front starts right now.